Hi, you guys. Welcome. Welcome back. My name is Carrie Penny. I am the Happy Crafty Homemaker, and welcome to Show and Tell number 180. What's wrong, Banner? You're okay. He's like, wait a minute. Who are you talking to? What you doing, Banana? Banana Rama? I scared him out of the window with my big mouth, apparently. So, Show and Tell 180. What's going on, you guys? Last week ended up being dedicated to the tutorial for how I put together my Addy blankets, my knitting machine blankets. I, I don't know what he's doing. He's being really bizarre. On Saturday, we will have the update for the end of the month of March for the Taming the Stash project that I'm doing this year. And on Tuesday, we should have a goals review. And hopefully, hopefully... I will have earned myself one of the goodies that I bought at the beginning of the year. Just say. So, today I'm actually filming really late in the day for me. Hence the very, very supernatural basic makeup. My hair is falling down all over the place and is really unstyled. It is uh, after 4 o'clock. I really probably should have put my vegetables in the oven before I came down here, but... Such as it is, we're going to go with it, but I really wanted to finish my pastels blanket. So, this is my, I brought a cup of coffee down. I had to make sure I didn't like slosh it everywhere with the mess that I just made. But, um, what was I going to say about this? I just finished it like 15 minutes ago. It's big. It's, um... So not stretching it at all. It's that long. The neon ones, I believe I did six panels for that one. So it's only this long. This one is eight panels long. So it's a little bit wider. I have not decided whether or not I'm going to keep this one. I might actually donate this because I think somebody might really enjoy it. But this is using the exact same techniques as the tutorials that I shared last week. So I did did do a border here. I've got two rows of the tan, one of the yellow, one of the green, one of the pink, and it's just single crochets. So nothing very exciting to see other than this is what the colors panned out to be. Uh, everything is actually different. So this is Karen One Pound and Light Blue. This is Impeccable from Loops and Thread in Soft Fern. This is lemon I believe or light yellow in impeccable this is hubby lobby I love this yarn in rosy cheeks I just put this in my notebook that's the only reason why I can remember all these because I was just making sure I had all the colors written down premiere everyday original like OG Deborah Norville everyday in cornflower blue this no this is the soft fern this is Fern and Soft Fern, maybe? They're both impeccables. No, this is Light Sage. That's what this is. So Soft Fern, Impeccable, Red Heart Super Sage, Saver in Sage or Light Sage. Premier Basics in Lemon. And then this is Premier Basics in Light Rose. The border is done in the Loops and Thread Impeccable Lemon. The border, uh, dark, uh, the green border is the darker one, the, the loops and threads soft fern. And then this is the premier light mauve. It's all single crochets. I did, I did my first row just like I showed in the tutorial and built out. I don't know why I've been enjoying single crochets, but there you have it for whatever reason. I'm enjoying the most obnoxious stitch to border a blanket in. And I did like five on this one. I did six on the last one, I think. No, so I did eight rounds on the last one in single crochet, right? Because I did two in brown and then I did one of each neon color. I don't know why I'm liking it. It makes no sense. I normally would do half double crochet borders, but for some reason on these blankets, that single crochet border looks really cute. I really like it. I do reserve the right to come back around with something else. I was thinking about 
doing another row of green and then another row of yellow, but I don't think I have enough of the green to do that, which is the only reason why I'm calling it done now. So big blanket done. This was 2,900 grams. So whatever that is in poundage, I didn't look it up. I am very happy with how it turned out. I just, after doing the neon blanket and knowing I have the fingering weight blanket still, I don't know that I need to keep this one. So I might go ahead and donate this one. I also have a pastel spring blanket that I started last year in my circle and square pattern. So, and I'll leave uh, the tutorials in the description box down below for this and the circle and square blanket. But, anywho, on to the next thing. I have some 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 acquisition y things to discuss with you guys too, but if I can if I can control this thing, then we might make this under 15 minutes. I don't know. I probably can't control my mouth though. So we have two corner to corner scrap squares that I'm using up scraps as I go. These are 10 rows on the diagonal, or I take it up 10 rows up the side. However you want to look at it, it's 10 rows. 10 by 10, corner to corner square. I also have a tutorial for this. Maybe I have to just link the tutorials playlist because I do have one of those. Um, I'm using a size I crochet hook for these. They're just worst of weight acrylic scraps. Once again, as I go. As a matter of fact, this is the rest of the rosy cheeks that's in that blanket. I'm a little bit further ahead on my scrap squares than I am finishing projects like that. I do have a basket full of things that I want to finish off tonight. Tonight is the 29th. I'm filming this a day early. When you guys see this, I will be on my way to the Eagles concert. So I will be having fun in uh, Columbia. And then I think we're coming home after the concert because... We don't have anybody to feed the cats. It's like having toddlers that can't speak. There's no indication of what they actually want. Anyway, I did go to my Hobby Lobby. Uh, I did not go in with the intention to purchase yarn. I did want to see what some of the clearance items were, though, outside of the yarn department. But I did make some yarny acquisitions. So we, I did get... One of the big bin totes as I've been on this big organizing kick and I'm trying to organize my whips in a way that I will see them and work on them, not just like hide them away from myself. I thought maybe this could help, especially with all the kits that I organized, but Saturday's video will hopefully cover that. Maybe if I get froggy, I can film something on Friday, when, um, depending on when we get home tomorrow night, but I'm not going to hold my breath on that. That's a, that's a distinct maybe, maybe. So like I said, I am doing a low buy. This is not a no buy year for me, but I do want to limit what I'm buying at the beginning of the year as I do have the Southern Comforts Fiber Market coming up. It's like the 18th and 19th or the 20th and the 21st of August. And then like two weeks after that is going to be the Charlotte area yarn crawl. So I do kind of want to save back my budget this year for those two events, and I may or may not go to SAF this year. So I kind of want to maybe reduce my spending. So as I'm building budget for every 100 grams of yarn I get in a finished object, I can then spend that on new yarn. So... I did make a small purchase of yarn. This is it. I just really loved the colors. I don't use these cakes. Oh, I love it when this... Okay, the reason I have not stopped using the ring light. Now, I know it's annoying seeing the ring light in my glasses. And no, I'm not going to not use my glasses because I like being able to see. Um, I don't have starbursting when I wear my glasses, which means I don't have as many migraines. So... Ring light, I'm loving because when I do something like this, if I tilt it just right, we get very, very true to color colors, and I'm loving being able to do that. I do get a little blown out, and I look a little extra pale, especially on days when I do the quick, like, two-minute two makeup thing, but 
I'm enjoying it for showing off the colors. So this is the Rainbow Rhapsody in Gerber Daisy Garden. I buy that. These were $2.49 each, so they didn't cost me very much in my budget. I don't know why there were so many stickers on the yarn itself. Uh, this is 60% cotton, 40% acrylic. It is 7 ounces, 198 grams. It's kind of an odd... Normally, 7 ounces is 200 grams, not... 198 grams, but whatever. 918 yards, 839 meters. Recommended knitting needle size is a US size 2. Crochet hook is a D or 3. This claims that it is a size 1 yarn. So, I did grab both of these. Our store had actually already been very, very heavily picked through. There wasn't a whole lot I was interested anyway, except for maybe some of the hand-dyed yarn, and obviously those went first and foremost, because those, the last two years, I mean, I reviewed it. I liked the yarn quite a bit. I thought it was a good quality, especially for the price when they were doing the 40% off, uh, when you had the 40% off coupon or the 30% off sale. Um, I like the quality of it. I like the colors of it, but the last two years in particular, the colors have been really good. You have excellent neons and brights, but you've also had some really beautiful, more neutral, more um, everybody can wear them kind of colors. So I wasn't entirely surprised that those were wiped out, which was probably a good thing for me and my budget. I wasn't really looking for anything though. So I wasn't angry that all I got were these two cakes. I spent $5 out of my budget, which Uh, by the way, um, Gretchen, your package should be in the mail as of today. Shoot me an email, even though you're not getting my emails, when you get it. You should get it on Saturday, by Saturday. But just make sure, like, while I'm thinking that, because I need to write down the total that... Anyway. So I did get some stickers. So, I have some other paper pads. This will match perfectly. And it seems like I've bought something very similar to that before. These were too cute, especially for that price, to not go ahead and pick up. These would make excellent ephemera out of my scraps for some of the Christmas cards. Kind of wish I had those last year because those would have been perfect with some of the more rustic cards that I made last year. These are excellent just embellishments for the back of my cards or to add to like little sentiment strips and things. So I always pick up things like this or the micro mini thank yous or um, Merry Christmases tend to be something I always pick up out of this collection. And I have three different paper pads. This coordinates to plus some washi tape. This will be absolutely perfect with. And I do have a couple people that it would be fun to send, send Cinco de Mayo cards to. So I may or may not send out a couple of Cinco de Mayo cards. And then things like Let's Taco About It is just kind of always fun. Oh, my family is blowing up my text with things about my niece. The, the daycare got a picture of her. It's just so cute if I do say so myself. She has like all this personality in this tiny little body. All right, last thing is actually happy mail. So it had been a month since I checked my post office when I checked it two weeks ago and I haven't been back. So if you sent me something, I am sorry. When it's not Christmas season, I go every month. I just, it's easier to go every month. It hasn't been quite as easy to get there. They're doing a lot of construction on the way to my post office too. So, Anywho, this had only been there for about two weeks. So this is from Stephanie. Hoo -hoo. And I will leave her linked in the description box down below as well as a link to this pattern. 
but it's Stephanie from Stephanie's Yarn Escape. And of course she wrote me a sweet little note. And she said she thought I would enjoy the pattern, which I absolutely do. Like there was gonna be any doubt that I was gonna like this pattern because you guys know I am a mega sucker for shawls and I love not straight shawls. So this is absolutely gorgeous. I will definitely be making this and I have a couple of yarns that I can make this out of, but not only that, she was sweet enough to send me the yarn that she wrote the pattern using. This is the Yarn B 44th Street in Ruby. This is a size three, 70% acrylic, 30% polyamide. This is 100 grams, 3.5 ounces, 540 yards. So love the color. Ooh. Love the color. Uh, if you guys are new to my channel, during the fall, very frequently, you will hear me talking about my Gamecocks. Garnet and black are the colors. I end up making a lot of garnet and black stuff during the fall. And right now, I'm enjoying watching baseball season, which is my personal favorite sports season. My husband doesn't mind basketball. He loves football. And baseball's fine. Baseball gets him through the hump to the next football season. But my favorite sport to watch is baseball. So I've been getting good quality TV time watching the Lady Gamecocks in their bid for another national championship and watching the Yardcocks. So I uh, wanted to show you guys, I think there's another picture in my hands and I are having an argument. I think there is another picture back here. I could be wrong though. No, there's not another picture back there that shows the whole shawl. Anyway, I thought she had it all laid out, but she doesn't. She, this is the only picture. So, go check it out. Go check her out. This is one of the most thoughtful gifts I've gotten in an extremely long time. I would have been more than happy with just a copy of the pattern. But the fact she also sent me the yarn to go with it was just, it was a perfect moment in my day. I was so excited sitting there in my car because of course I had to open a package that I wasn't expecting in the car. Like I couldn't get it home to wait to open it. So anyway, I opened it in the car directly and I absolutely love it. So thank you so much. And you guys, I'm over 15 minutes, but I'm under 20. We will have some pet tax here at the end. I am going to go finish, uh, I think her name is Kendall Ray. She covered, she's got a two hour video on just the trial portion of the Murdoch case. If you're not familiar with that going on in South Carolina or having just wrapped up in South Carolina, but I'm very curious to see what happened on the second hour of that. So I'm gonna go finish that and eat some dinner. I hope you guys have a wonderful, fantastic day. I will see you on Saturday for the March wrap up of where we are. Obviously things have happened in the Taming the Stash 2023. Focusing on my urine stash only. We'll deal with the, uh, the rest of it maybe next year if I do a good job with this. But Tuesday will be my catch up on my goals and where I stand at the end of Q1. So. You guys have a wonderful, fantastic day. I love you, and I will see you guys real soon. Bye, guys.